we as humans are different and unique in our own individual ways because of the differences in our social backgrounds, upbringing, you know, every single thing has contributed to the way we perceive life in general. And that is why before you make that commitment in a relationship, especially as a man, it's very, very important for you to ask certain questions because you would need to understand your woman on a deeper level. And these things you need to ask her are actually very fundamental to the success of every relationship relationship because it would be wrong for you to think that she exactly sees everything in life the way you see them. If this is something that resonates with you, keep watching. I promise you, you will not regret it. Let's get into it. Number one, money matters. Money matters play a very fundamental role to the success of every relationship. And when I say money matters, I mean finances in a committed relationship like marriage. What is her view on finances in marriage? You know, you need to ask this question. And when I say ask these questions, I don't mean going full police mode on her. <laughs> maybe say we start to ask her question, let's say she did interview room. You know, she's going to freeze and maybe you won't be able to get all the answers you need. But there are subtle ways through which you can get all the answers you need. I mean, it's as simple as when you're out having a drink or, you know, just lounging somewhere. You just throw out the topic of conversation. Because you know that this is something you want to make findings on. Something like, babe, what do you think about these people who join finances and marriage? Do you think it's something that couples should do? Because we see a lot of these things nowadays. People say they have joint accounts. Other people say, of course, I'm not going to do that. It's not for me. My money is my money. Your money is for, you know, all of that. When you throw this topic to her, trust me, she's going to lean on it. Try to give her own view on the subject and that is how you learn what her perception about that is so from the way she's talking about the subject answering your question her body language and every cue everything every expression she makes is going to give you the exact information you need to know like they say 90 percent of communication is non-verbal most times you get all the answers you need just by observing body language how is she tackling the matter? What does she feel about it? Is she the type that will say, okay, my money is my money. Your money is your money. And there is nothing wrong with that. Like I said, we are all different in our own unique ways. It is wrong for me to think that you have to accept my ideologies just because I believe a certain thing. And I don't have a right to impose my opinions on you. I can only put it out there. I mean, if you agree with it, fine. If you do not agree with it, then we'll find a way, you know, just to walk around it and still cohabit as human beings, right? But in this case, you're going into a committed relationship like marriage, of course. And relationship is a company of two people and you need to be in alignment. So by the time she's explaining and all of that, you go don't watch her real good and understand how she feel about that subject. Because it is very important. Like they say, until money matter is settled, a marriage can never be settled. I have seen relationships that go sour just because money has become a problem. Maybe the man is posing as someone who is all sufficient, telling the babe that, ah, mama, don't worry, I got you, baby. That Gucci bag, that whatever, you know, buying the expensive gift and everything. Thing. and maybe he no gets but because if you say oh more if i slack this babe see me like say i no get money she go free me and because of that you know you're suffering in silence i call it suffering in silence because she doesn't have any idea let me tell you something every woman on earth likes to relax and be taken care of if you give her the impression that you have plenty money my brother she go relax chop your money but if you open up to her and let her know what is obtainable then she'll be able to know if she can adjust or not i think it's very wrong to make people assume things sometimes especially when it has to do with finances because at the end of the day when you go into that relationship like marriage of course and start having children your expenses is going to double or even triple and now you have more things to do with money not like before where you're just thinking about going out on a weekend buying this gift item or that now you have kids now you have school fees to pay now you have you know bills are piling up every day so i think for me this is just my opinion i think as a man being transparent about your earning is very very important i'm dwelling a little bit on this point because i believe that this is one of the fundamental reasons why relationships crash 
I remember Ben Carson in one of his books narrating how he was able to pull through the adolescent age and you know all of those drama that comes with it. There was one particular time he wanted his mom to buy him this expensive leather jacket because all of his friends were wearing leather jackets. You know, he needed to fit in and feel among. And then he kept pestering his mom, putting pressure on her to buy him that leather jacket. And when she saw that he wasn't going to give up, so she promised him that the next month he was going to take charge of the whole finances of the family. She was going to bring all of her paycheck to him and then he would take out money for everything they need for running of the house for one month. And then whatever is left, he can now go ahead and buy his leather jacket. And he was so excited. Ah, or more, I will buy my leather jacket, you know, that kind of thing. And at the end of the month, when she gave him all of the money she has earned for him to now take out money for every individual need of the family, he realized that before he could even minus money for the last item on the list, the money was all finished and gone. First of all, he was so sad that his mom was actually struggling so much without even him knowing it. She was just trying to stay afloat. When it comes to finances because she was a single mom who had to take care of him and his brother and secondly he had to just forget about the whole leather jacket thing because now he knows that she doesn't have this money to give him we can see how being transparent can actually save you a whole lot of headaches in the long run so ask that question find out what she thinks about money is she the type that thinks that okay if i make all of my money i'm going to spend it on myself because i'm a woman my money is my money and of course you the man you're going to bring all the money and we would spend it together or is she the type that thinks that okay no wala you know i can just bring in my paychecks at the end of the month let's just put it together and try to build something together regardless of who ends what that leads me to the next question find out what her love language is aka her mumu button <laughs> you know that thing that you do and it just melts her heart and make her just mellow love language is not a strange topic to many people nowadays even if she doesn't know it you can find out what love language is and i have a video on this where i talked about the five love languages authored by gary chapman I'm going to leave the link in the description and also I'm going to tag it to this video at the end of the video as an end screen. So if you do not know the concept of love language, you can check out that video and understand what it means and find out what your own primary love language is. That is how you love to be loved, how you love to give and receive love because this would help you have, you know, a very productive relationship. This one is very mild. Okay. You can ask her directly. What is your love language? What are the things you like? Do you like quality time or would you just rather be giving a gift or when I appreciate you? Is that what you like? This is very simple and I think there is nothing there when you ask questions like this, even if it's direct, because at the end of the day, it's something that's going to help her get so much love from you and of course be able to love you better. Three, deal breakers. What is her deal breaker? There are certain things you can do to her and she'll be like, okay, now the end be this. You see, eh? I feel forgive any other thing, but you see this one thing, I know if you look past them. So there are certain things that she cannot forgive. You need to find out what is that thing. And it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating. You know, when we talk about deal breaker, a lot of people just think in the line of, okay, when I step out of the relationship, uh, that is one thing that I know that's going to be a deal breaker for this woman. So I'll try as much as possible not to step out. But what about other things? There are people who don't like it when maybe you discuss their matter with a certain people outside. There's so many things that can be considered small, small things, but at the end of the day, now giants now it be. Find out what these deal breakers are so that you'll be able to have an enjoyable relationship and also tell her what the deal breaker is for you. That leads me to number four, children, picking them. Yes, there are ladies who do not want to have children. Hello, this is the 21st century and a whole lot is happening, even in Africa. Before I get some things, they would say, nah, you know, some kind of people, now nah, they do all those things. But now, <laughs> even our own dearest Africans, they do these things. You go see somebody go there, you say, I know I'm born in short. I don't want to give birth to children. Worst case scenario, I'm just going to get a surrogate mom and have her give birth to my child. You know, you need to discuss these things so that you will not be surprised in your marriage. You better say you're surprised now. <laughs> That say you surprise later. You they look and say you not know, important to ask. It they important to ask. So my brother, no doll. It is very, very important to ask. I'm telling you facts. You know these things that some guys do when you meet someone and especially when she's so gorgeous, you don't just want to like ask questions to you. You feel like he's like staring too much. You know, won't spoil this thing where you feel. 
it's better you stay to my brother. If you don't stare at him now, you go stare at him later. Ask the necessary question. If she leaves you because you're asking this question, then maybe she wasn't even meant for you in the first place. And who wants to invest all the time and energy just to be dumped in the long run or be unhappy in the long run? It's very important to find out does she want children and how many does she want? Even you too, you need to tell her because some men too will say, I don't want more than two. Fat, one self is okay. And some of us women actually love children. Some of us want to give birth to more than two, more than just one, maybe three, maybe even four. Okay, so these things are very, very important to ask, especially when you know that you're about to make that ultimate commitment. That leads me to the last and of course not the least of them all. You need to ask her what her spiritual standing is. Does she even believe in God? It's very important too, so that you know who you're dealing with. Marriage is not always rosy, rosy, rosy. There are times that difficulties set in. It's not as if we go about anticipating evil or praying for bad things to happen. But then life is something that you anticipate the best and prepare for the worst. So sometimes when challenges of life come, that is when if it pushes you to your core, that is when you go back to your core. And what is your core? Your core is your alpha and omega. And who is your alpha and omega? Is it God? What is your God? Is it an object you have to go and scratch from time to time? Or is it the almighty God in heaven that you have to pray to? Who are you calling your God? What are you calling your God? Ask her what her spiritual standing is. Is she okay with taking the kids to church and teaching them the way of God? Or, you know, just find out. There is no harm in asking these questions. This particular question is quite sensitive. So you would know how to pose that question to her. Maybe, you know, throw it out in the course of discussion so that you can find out what you need to find out. At this point, the room is a bit dark because I'm actually using natural sunlight and there's cloud somehow so it's affecting the lightning in this room please bear with me i hope you find value in this video if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not done so yet support the channel also check out this video where i talked about love languages it's going to help you understand what your primary love language is like i said and that of your spouse thank you and i'll see you on the next one bye for now